He's Phoebe Hale, he lives in Perth Making super videos for all his work His channel is great, he's a good mate with Bella Feral so them hesitate G'day beer lovers, it's your old mate again here The Bee Egg <coughs> Hey guys, I've got some real bad news to report yeah, some real bad shit has just happened to me. I've been broken into here at one of my businesses here called the Woodvale Natural Health Centre. Yeah, got a, had a phone call from the uh, company that monitors my security system. And they said, uh, yeah, we got your alarms going off. Yeah, in at least two sectors down there, two areas of the building. So I knew, oh, here we go. They're running rampant down there that they've been broken into. Usually when it's just one sector going off, it's usually an insect, a cockroach or something, or a spider. But when I know there's two sectors going off, I know that's bad news. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I've, I've attracted some real bad karma into my life. I don't know why, but uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you the damage. All right, guys, this is where they got in, near the front door here. What they did, they broke that panel of glass and I've already had a glazier come here to replace that glass. Yeah. Built for $360, which is below my insurance excess, so there's no point me lodging an insurance claim. So we've got the glass sitting there. Um, been told to uh, just leave it all, you know, because the police are coming over to do forensics, you know, to check for fingerprints. So I can't clean up or anything, I'm just going to leave it all here. And it might be till tomorrow, till they come. Yeah, bummer. Okay, the main place they attacked was my office area. You can see this cupboard here. They've rummaged through there. My filing cabinet there. Yeah, check out all the crap there. Obviously looking for money, but there is no money here. You can see they pulled the drawers out there. They've actually stolen a particular drawer. So what do these wankers actually take? Well, they took a complete drawer out of one of my cabinets here. And in that drawer was a large crystal. I think it was a box of stamps. It also had every single mobile phone that I've had in my life. Yeah, I've just gone through life just keeping them. I've never chucked them out. You know, all these old Nokias and all their recharges that went with them. So they took all that. They're no use to anyone. Uh, what else did they take? Oh, look. The most precious thing they took was uh, a bag of tarot cards. Now these were very precious to me. You know, I've had them for a long time. They had great sentimental value and they took that and I'm really gutted as a result of losing them. Uh, and they also took, this is really weird, a prescription. Uh, it was a medical prescription for something that I take. Okay, now that's pretty bloody weird, isn't it? Well, I took that as well. And do you remember that video I did a few months ago? It was called Dirty Soap. You know, that where a friend in Darwin, in, in the Northern Territory, had sent me this gift. It was, a, it, was a, it was a packet of three different types of soap. There was one called Pussy Wash, Cock Wash, and Ass Wash. Do you remember that great video I made using that soap? Yeah, well, that's gone. They took that. So I never even got to open those soaps and actually use them. Ah, oh, that really... That pisses me off, really. So really, there was only really just one thing that really was of value to me, and that was the tarot cards. Now, I, I look at it very philosophically, you know, like I believe in karma. You know, what goes around comes around. Uh, so, you know, I acknowledge that I've probably done something bad. Yeah, I acknowledge that. And uh, when I think about it, I can think of something. It's very private, very personal, and I'm not going to share what it is. Okay, so I'm interested to know everyone else's thoughts about the law of karma, you know, whether you, whether you believe it. And uh, a friend of mine sort of suggested, why don't I go and claim a, a brand new laptop? Put a, claim that on insurance, okay? I'm not that sort of person, okay? And uh, if I did that, well, guess what? That's just going to attract more bad karma, isn't it? Okay, so, yeah, I'm not going to do any of that. So uh, tell me your thoughts about karma. What's your beliefs? Do you believe in it? After the uh, break-in, I, uh, I put some photos up on Facebook, you know, just show people what had happened. 
and I got a phone call from the fab. Yeah, he rang me. You know, and he sort of offered his condolences, and he uh, he gave me some advice. Now, the advice he gave me is that he suggested that I basically just sell up, sell sell everything, move to Brisbane because he reckons Perth is a shithole. You know, so just yeah, get up and just move to Brisbane. <laughs> I just basically laughed in his face, you know. How can he honestly think that Brisbane is better than Perth, you know? In Perth here, beautiful white sandy beaches, nice flat ocean most of the time. You go to Brisbane, all you got is just tidal mudflats. They don't have beaches in Brisbane. That is a secret they never tell you. Actually, most of Queensland, there's not many white beaches. There's a few of them. And not many. You go to places like Cairns, there's no bloody beach there, it's just tidal mudflats again. All of Queensland is just infested with mosquitoes, uh, cane toads, you know, in Brisbane. You know, you, if you get a cane toad gets into your backyard and your dog eats it, the bloody dog dies. Yeah, so, so that's another thing about Brisbane. I've been there. Uh, Hot, sticky weather conditions, you know, for five or six months of the year. Ah, that's just not for me. The bloody place floods all the time. It's just a, it's just a, flooding is just a way of life in Brisbane. It's, so fab, I'm sorry, but to me, Brisbane is the shithole, mate. Not, not, not Perth. No, this is, you know, I know you believe that Brisbane is God's own country, but I'm sorry, mate, I beg to differ, mate. Perth, mate, that, this is where, this is God's own country. Yeah, another thing too is, we're the only state in Australia that does not have poker machines in our clubs and bars. And there's a very good reason for that, okay? Now, in West Australia, most people have more money than, you know, in their bank and in their pocket than people in Brisbane. You know, because you go to Brisbane, you go to a pub, all you see are these morons, these deros that are sitting at these machines and they're putting their money in these machines and they're doing this all bloody day long. And they're, just, they're all poor as church mice. That's right. All of Australia's like that. You know, they're all, they're all addicted to these bloody poker machines. But here in Western Australia, we've outlawed the bastards. You know, we don't want them. Okay? And also, too, Queensland. Hey, what sort of state is it? It's into rugby league. <laughs> In West Australia here, we, we, we're not into rugby. We're into the Aussie rules, you know. So, mate, I'm sorry, sorry, Fab, but there's no way in the world that I would ever leave paradise and move to fucking Brisbane. <laughs>